I have a case I think you might be interested in. Not now. 26-year-old woman had a tonic-clonic seizure. What about me speeding away? It says you let's chat. History of fatigue, and two years ago she had a retinal vein occlusion. She's diabetic. No, she's not, and she has no history of hypertension. It can wait. The seizure could be the result of dehydration or something neurological. Or the ecstasy you found in her system. According to Dr. Hadley, the patient took the drugs about five hours before the seizure, so... How does 13 know about it? Uh, apparently, she was with the patient last night. At 3 a.m. Blood test confirms low potassium levels, explains the numbness in her hip. It's not good, but I think we've got time for at least one or two comments about my personal life. Which you just wasted with that comment about my comments. Low potassium means her heart problem is a symptom of kidney problem. What caused the kidney problem? Could be IgA nephropathy. Not without blood in the urine. PSAGN? Not with normal blood pressure. Renal tubular acidosis. Her kidneys don't filter acid out of the blood. Excess acid drives down potassium, causes kidney calcifications. It's RTA. All she needs is sodium bicarbonate for the acid and surgery to remove the calcifications. CT her kidneys. If you find calcifications, we have her diagnosis. Close the incisions. She won't even have a scar. Row two sats are dropping. Did you nick something? The procedure was clean. BP strong. Well, she's not breathing. We need to intubate. The breathing problem started after we fixed her kidney problem means the RTA isn't the underlying cause. Where's 13? Traffic's bad, she's probably just not here. It's not her lungs, no masses, no infiltrates. Her lungs are working, but she still can't breathe. Distribution plant can't distribute if it's not getting deliveries. If her lungs are fine, maybe the problem's in the supply line, airway collapse. That could signal autoimmune or some kind of dystrophy as the underlying cause. There's only one way to find out if her airway failed. Make it happen again. Stick 13's carpet cleaner on a treadmill. Methacholine challenge. Can someone find the carpet? Can you get me caught up? I think you're gonna find something we did. It's good for the patient. Good for me. Films are clean. We ruled out hypertension. The guys have her on a treadmill running a methacholine challenge. And I still think you've been acting like an idiot. I know. Did you talk about whether this lung field looks a little dark? It's probably just overexposed. Or her diaphragm's a little flat. Could be a sign of hyperinflation. Suggest a pulmonary obstruction. Lung cysts. They wouldn't show up on an x-ray. Treadmill test isn't going to close her airway. It'll make her lungs explode. Her throat's fine. We made her airway collapse, but it's not collapsed. You ruptured a cyst. Her lung collapsed. Breath sounds on both sides. Move. Trachea's deviating to the left. Nice. Hey. The biopsy of your lung cyst showed smooth muscle cells. That's indicative of a disease called LAM. What do you do for that? Surgery to remove the cysts. But they'll come back. Little by little, the cysts replace healthy lung tissue until your lungs stop working. They removed all the cysts they could. That should help you breathe better. How long until the cysts come back? We don't know exactly. I'm sorry. Stop saying you're sorry. I know you're scared. I don't know what I feel.
You're gonna be numb for a few more days. Then you'll go home and cry for a few weeks. And then you get angry. Start telling yourself nothing matters anymore. You start doing stupid things. Maybe you go out to bars and pick up a bunch of women. How long do you have? Maybe a little more than you. Maybe a little less. I'll race you. I was thinking maybe I'd come back later. Sounds good. All her blood counts are down. It's a new symptom, aplastic anemia. She needs a bone marrow transplant. Test results are back. What's she positive for? Nothing. We've got a donor match. Jumping to a transplant when we don't know what she... I know she has a blood disorder. Could be PNH. She needs a bone marrow transplant. Or leukemia, she needs a bone marrow transplant. Or thalassemia, she needs a bone yeah, marrow Yeah, I get it, but she'll never survive total body irradiation. So we don't radiate her. The marrow is nearly wiped out already. Counts almost zero. Almost being the key word. The new marrow would attack the old marrow. She'll die from graft versus host. You got a better idea? She trusts you. Don't get her consent. Your lips are cracked. Been using your inhaler lately. Allergies. Don't deflect. You always deflect. Did she cry? When you told her she was gonna die, did she cry? She got upset. She were there tears. Chopping an onion releases a mist of synpropanethyl S-oxide, a chemical irritant, which causes people to have a very predictable reaction. She has no tears. It was either this or put on Brian's song. I didn't have time to stop by Wilson's. She has Sjogren's. It attacks the glands and produces tears and saliva. And also, by the way, causes lung cysts and RTA. It doesn't cause bleeding. It's like you and men. Just because you usually don't doesn't mean you can't. And it doesn't cause cracked lips in other people. Lack of spit makes her mouth a breeding ground for a fungus like Candida. Her asthma inhaler did the same for you. Wiped out her mouth's immune system. So she's got what I've got. Just the opportunistic infection, not the underlying condition. Another life saved by girl-on-girl -girl action. I'm gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Methylprednisolone to get the Sjogren's under control and some artificial tears to maximize the visual impact of this moment.